All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. from GMS Shahabai Ba, GMS in Petersburg, Florida. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Chakadash. The bonus to my old apostles, the great millstone, who grew well. Sink it under salutation to all the sincere brothers. Constantly push his word, truth, sincerity in the four corners of the earth. And peace and blessings also be to all the sincere men, women, and children that consist of the one third who are also members of the body of Yahweh Shai. And peace and blessings also be unto the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom and peace be unto you all. Um, <clears throat> looking at the other Apostle to Heart's video, um, oh, by the way, Shalom does mean peace. <laughs> um, the other Apostle to Heart did a video talking about um, Priest Zabak and how Priest Zabak was saying that, you know, he think that Cornelius, you know, is an Edomite, so to say, and and, and like <laughs> Elder Apostle on Gabardi the video, and he was like, "Who do you think you are?" You know, nonetheless, like regardless of what you think or what I think, you have to go to the scriptures, and the scripture says, "Prove all things." You know, and by the way, the individual you see on the left of the screen, that's Cletus the Black. He was a, a soldier in Alexander. The Greeks um, army. He actually saved Alexander the Greek in a battle. I believe it was Gracchinus or Gracchinus, if I'm not mistaken. And six years after that, he he murdered him in a in a quarrel. Um, he was in the state of debauchery or enumerated. In other words, when he was under the influence. But this is actual individual. I even have a um book called Nature Knows No Color Line. It's not with me right now, but um. It also proves that in that book as well. But the point of the matter is to bring out that Cornelius is an Israelite. I'm just going to pull out a few a few um, precepts just to go to show. And also, if you look at the map, because Alexander the Greek, he was from Macedonia. Macedonia is, is um, east of Italy. Okay? So, you know, you can look that up on the map. Let's go to Acts chapter 10, verse 1. It says, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, and one that feared God, Yahweh is his name, with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to Yahweh always. All right. Now, it's a, it's a few. Um, there are a few things in here that I want you to look at. The word devout, all right? When you go into the word devout in the blue letter, it doesn't really give you a good definition of what it means. But it does say one word, all right? Um, well, it gives you a, a decent enough definition. But nonetheless, though, I'm going to go into it really quick. See, it's a compound word. So I'm going to Strong's G... 4576. Strong's G, 4576. Sabo. 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 And it says to revere, to worship. All right. Um, a devout, religious worship, so to say. And, um, we, uh, as we say, this is not a religion, but when you go into the word religious, really, um, when it speaks about it in the terms of the, of the Israelites, it's speaking about um, the worshiping of Yahweh, so to say. Now it says a devout man, one who worship or revered the Heavenly Father. Now this is an Acts the 10th chapter. Alright. Now they like to say that he's a um he's a Edomite, but he's an Israelite because no other nation will worship our God. You know, even in the book of Nehemiah, for not yeah, Nehemiah, they wanted to help build a temple. But <laughs> the Heavenly Father um had a spirit on the on, on the on the um the men of the Lord. During that time to let them know you have no you have no dealings with trying to build this temple, you know, or this house on the guy. And, and that was cut. That was pretty much cut. And, you know, they try to conspire against them. But that's another story. But they go to show you that the nations of the um, the heathen nations have no say or have no portion in, in worshiping Yahweh Hashem Shai until Yahweh Hashem Shai come back when all the nations shall say, let's go up to the mountain of the Lord and keep his commandments, learn his ways pertaining to Isaiah, the second chapter. But anyway, this is Acts chapter 2, verse 5. Remember that word devout. 
And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now listen to this. It says Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. In other words, from all over the world. Now why is that? Well, you know, there's a certain time of the year we have to go to um, Jerusalem so we can keep the Passover, the Passat. All right? Even Yahweh Shai, it tells you, shows you that in... What is that? Is it Luke, the second chapter? I think it's Luke, the second chapter, when it speaks about Yahweh Shai being with his parents. Was it John? So, like, forgive me. But uh, I remember it speaks about him being with his parents. Yes, Joseph is his father, and they were looking for him when they, when they went to, um, you know, to keep the, the holy day. All right? So, nonetheless, though, these were Jews, Israelites, so to say. The so-called Negroes, so-called Jamaicans, and so-called Haitians. Because the Levites would be the so-called Haitians, Jamaicans would be the so-called Benjaminites, which Paul was a Benjaminite. And um, the so-called Negroes at that time, of course, would have been the Judahites, all right? Which was, um, Yahweh um, sprung from that, that tribe. He was a dark-skinned man as well. So let me continue on. Verse 6. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Gal Gal Galileans? And, and, and that's not talking about a, 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 um, a certain people. It's talking about um, the nation of Israel. Just like when it speaks about and what the, the, Yahweh Shai said, "Go ye not to the Gentile, into ye, go ye not to the city of Samaria, or, or go not to the Gentiles." And, and Matthew the tenth chapter. All right, why is that? Because our people was kicked out of Samaria back in the Book of Kings. All right, because we didn't keep the laws, that's the commandments. And the Heavenly Father put someone else in that stead. So this is actually talking about Israelites and how here we, every man in our own tongue, where when we we born. Parthians, and Medes, and Elamites, and the dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and Cappadocia, and Pontus, and Asia, well, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, and Egypt, and in the parts of Libya, about Cyrene, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, <laughs> Cretes, and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our, in our tongues the wonderful works of God, who? Yahweh, okay? And even and that's why even when he speaks about the strangers of Rome, it's talking about Israelites, because the strangers, the Gentiles in the scriptures goes back to who? The Israelites. Now let me prove that really quick. Bear with me real quick. This is um oh Salak, this is not what I want. That's a good one too. This is the one I want right here. First Peter one and one. Peter an apostle of Yahweh Shamashiach to the strangers scattered throughout Pontius. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Yahweh Shah was crucified, his blood was shed for who? The nation of Israel. Acts 5 and 29 on down. Alright? But what it said, to the strangers scattered. So when it speaks about that in the book of Acts as well. Let's talk about those strangers. Let's talk about the Israelites, man. All right. And as a matter of fact, precept to prove that. Let me go to. I want to say Habakkuk chapter one verse five. This one coming out lately. It says, "Um, behold, ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously. Who's among the heathen? We are. Behold, ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work and work in your days." Which ye would not believe, though it be told you. He's talking about us among the heathen. The Gentiles, okay? You remember there are two Gentiles. Israelite foreigners and actual Gentiles who are heathens. Now I have another precept I want to bring out real quick. I'm just hitting a few key points real quick. I didn't want to, want to make it too long. Just trying to prove a point that he was an Israelite. He was just, um, like today you call yourself African American. If you go fill out your application, you're not going to put your Israelite down. You'll put your African American. All right, because that's how they know you as, you know. I mean, come on. During the times of three, um, from 323 B.C. all the way up until the time your house I came, that was three centuries of our people being Hellenized. So they were calling themselves Greeks, i.e. Timothy's father, you know. But Timothy was an Israelite. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as they do from Yahweh. 
Who's the many people? They're heathens. <laughs> As the showers upon the grass that tarry not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. In the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. I'm not going to read the rest, but you, you get the point what I was saying. Among, the, among many people, among the Gentiles, man. All right. Now, remember, he was a devout man. That's who um, Cornelius was. And that's who the other individuals were who went to Jerusalem in Acts, the second chapter. Now, I'm going to close out with this last precept real quick. Just to go to show you that only Israel will worship and pray and all give honor and glory to, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 3, verse 32. Or is there any other people that know of thee besides Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants is Jacob? And covenant is a promise. And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor hath no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen. So he, be, so he amongst the heathen too. That's Ezra. <laughs> And I see that they flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. So wait a minute. If Cornelius was an Eden by the heathen, then what is Ezra talking about? Why the scripture says, study this so that self approved, man. The heathens don't worship you. How about Shemel Shah? Like Elder Pastor Hart was saying on their live feed, here it is, all the prisoners get sworn in, but they promote homosexuality. <sighs> it's sort of like they don't even regard Sodom and Gomorrah. Second Edges 3 and 34. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance. And there is also that dwell in the world. And so shall that name nowhere be found but in Israel. And he even said that Cornelius thought about that name too. From now, let me go back. Let me get that real quick. Go right back. Just trying to prove a point. Don't want to make it too long. You know. Acts chapter 10. Um, well, again, there was a certain man in Caesarea named Cornelius, called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, the one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people. He said he feared God. So let's, let's, let's go back to another scripture to show who are those that fear God as well. Malachi 3 and 16. It's just the spirit right now. Then they that fear Yahweh will spake off the one to another. And Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. Okay? Kaholo Yahweh Bashim Shai. So let's go back to um second edges before I close out real quick. Second edges three and thirty four again. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and there is also that dwell in the world. And so shall that name nowhere be found but in Israel. Uh, when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight. Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Verse 36, and this is, this is the hitter right here. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Koholo Yehobashim Yahushai, man. All right. And he even said that um, um, Cornelius gave alms to the people. <laughs> That's a part of our customs as well, man. All right. So nonetheless, though, you did have Israelites that that um, was a part of the, the, the military. Even Jake today is in the military. Come on. What, what's what's your boy name? Um, Colin Powell. Come on, man. You got Jake on the police force today. <laughs> but anyways, man, hey, this is this is plain to those who are righteous, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. Call the Lord. I was shy. Double on to my elders. Sing on the saw your brothers, peace and blessings to the one third and to the confusion of faces. Call me Asha Alam Wal Sapa Boy Shalom.